What's going on guys? I'm here with one of our clients, Reed, who actually just closed a 48K 12 month video retainer. What's going on, Reed? How are you, man? How's it going? How you doing, man? Doing well, dude. I guess for anybody who maybe doesn't know you and a little bit of background on yourself, do you mind just giving us a little bit of background on you yourself and kind of what your business does? Yeah, totally. Yeah. So I'm right now I'm 27. I've been, you know, what I would consider pro since I was 20. Went to film school for a couple of years. My parents kind of you know, made me go that route. And I personally never wanted to go to the film school route. Not that it's not, you know, uh, for some people it's the right move. So right. Right. But I knew what I wanted to do and I saw the path to do it. So I actually ended up dropping out of film school, I think my second year or something like that. Yep. I just went right to being pro and within seven months I got my first good salary gig and you know, videography's, I got lucky cause it's just my passion and it, it yep. really, it's very lucrative and you know, there's a lot of, everyone needs video nowadays. So that kind of got my foot in the door and then started making connections and whatnot. And then kind of realized that nine to five salary wasn't really for me. And, you know, I wanted to do my own stuff kind of 1099. And so after probably only a year or so on salary, I started doing my own thing. And so, yeah, I've been 1099 for several years now. My main client has been USA Today. I do nice. a lot of film, filming for them. And, and then other than that, it's just, you know, random local gigs. And because I didn't know you guys that I just kind of wait for them to, to trickle to me, you know, and take what I can get. Cause I'm not much of a marketer or businessman. So, you know, I had a handful of random plastic surgery offices, this one Russian crazy art lady. Were uh, they all one-off projects or what were the, what was kind of, a, lo a lot of them was... were one-off USA Today. It was is the one that's been consistent for you know several years yeah and then there was a couple here and there where they need a lot of editing for a couple months and but usually it's it's you know wrote a kind of a rotating door of clients makes sense and i guess what what was kind of the biggest problem you had prior to kind of jumping into the program initially just knowing how to get clients you know getting leads basically understanding the sales of how to approach and how to close them uh, definitely was the main issue. And then also pricing, okay. uh, you know, kind of pulling the classic videographer mistake of charging under charging, oh, man, yep. dude, I, I look back at some of my deals and whatnot. And I'm, I did where, the same was, where was Eric? I needed Eric. <laughs> I did the same <laughs> thing, dude. I look back 10, 15 years ago. And why the heck was I charging as much as, yeah. why was I charging that little? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's so funny because what we're doing is, is a game changer for businesses, man. If you Seriously. don't have video content these days, you are done you're done so seriously, online. seriously. Like, there's literally no way you're gonna make it because yeah, me yeah that's how people build trust and how they know about you it's like there's never been in my opinion a better time to be a, a videographer a video business owner in this market everyone needs this content right now which is absolutely huge you know? i agree yeah. yeah it's amazing man it did and, and like then it. that's been the really cool thing of working with you guys is helping me find a niche where it legitimately super benefits everyone because you know if i was yep. selling a retainer like this to a barber shop or something i wouldn't even recommend them to do that because they'd have to sell so many you yep. know x haircuts to make up for it it's like I'm, you don't want to go after those low ticket people you want to go after the higher ticket ones the ones that are actually going to be able to make yeah, money off your content exactly because yeah. a plastic surgeon that if they just get 10 new clients from yeah. a year's worth of work which is yep. no problem Bang, it pays for itself. Yep. And so now I can talk to them and be, you know, how many clients do you think you would need to get for this retainer to pay for itself? Yep. And it kind of makes them realize, oh, snap, why would I not do this? Right. 100%, um, so yeah, dude. Cool. No, absolutely. I mean, and I guess, was there any reason, like, because I know there's a lot of programs out there and a lot of people out there who are, you know, helping different people within the industry. But I guess, is there any reason you chose our program maybe over some of the other programs out there? Maybe it was nothing, maybe it was something, but just curious. No, well, well, that's the uh, kind of the, the funny thing about the deal that I made that I don't know. I don't know if it, it, it's a good testimonial or not. Sure. Is that I, I kind of found out about you guys. I did the two calls with you guys mm -hmm. and I had actually kind of reached out to a couple different, you know, sort of teams, yours. And so I was going through the hour long phone calls. Okay, cool. Yep. And it was great. I forget the, the name of the gentleman that I was talking to, but he was awesome. And uh, you know, he let me know kind of the price at the end. And at that point I just wasn't, a, I didn't have the cash to be able to do it. And I was oh no, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to waste your guys time. I, and uh, he was, well, no problem. You know, 
do what you got to do. And if it works out, come back and we'd love to have you. And so just using what I learned on the two free phone calls and literally using a pricing sheet that you guys emailed me is how I closed the 48K deal I love with, like it, a, with an old well, client. Well, even I, if you don't join with us right away, we'd love to provide value to you and see how we can help. And I love that you took that and then implemented it. And it's, it, it is, it's testament that this stuff works and you used it to close this huge thing. And now it's, let's pour more fuel on the fire, which I love. It's great. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I'm sure yeah. you would say too, it's, it, there's a lot, you definitely took that, you implemented it, it was amazing, but it's now you have other problems where it's, okay, cool, now I need to stack more clients on top yep. of this, and it's how do I hire a team, how do I get those leads consistently, but I mean, we love using reactivations to just take the existing people you have in your pipeline, convert them, and then help you build that system, so now that you have cash in your pocket, and you're feeling good, and now you can build something and really pour rocket fuel on that, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. No, exactly. And, you know, when I made the sale, you know, first thing other than taxes, first thing I was master filmmaker, I got to, you know, get the ball rolling. Well, I mean, dude, we just want to put out as much value as we can. And then people yourself oh, yeah. get value from that. And then you're like, cool. I want to work with these guys even more because I got value from the stuff they just gave me on the two hour long phone calls. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Man, I've, been, I've told a lot of people, um, man, it's insane. I did two free phone calls with you guys and I closed a $48,000 deal. I it sounds it. ridiculous. People don't believe me when I tell them. I love it. And, you know, yeah, it was very surreal because, you know, I watched a good amount of testimonials, the one we're doing right now. And it's yeah. obviously I could tell, oh, these are definitely real. And No, you, you guys know, are just uh, hired actors, man. Yeah. I've seen, I've right. seen comments before, like, guys, these, it's a high, Reed's not real, dude. These people yeah. are not, it's <laughs> real, I, guys, I don't know what to tell you. These people I don't are, know what to tell you. Yeah. I don't know. Ask them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. No. And that's exactly, even yeah. though, you know, it, my BS meter didn't go off at all. It's still so surreal to now be in the position of one of the testimonials. And be yeah. Like, yeah. Holy shit. I made, yeah. you know, just about 50 K. Well, and honestly, it's just the beginning for you, man. We're going to stack, yeah. stack, 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 stack on top of that. You know, it's just, yep. And I think a lot of people, for a lot of people, it's it's a mindset thing where it's, I don't think I can do this until I actually get the help I need to do it. Yep. You know what I mean? Because yep. you don't think you can close a 48K deal until you do it. You don't think you yeah. can ride a bike until you do it. It's like, yeah. you have to just put the, put the steps in place to try to get there in order to do it. Otherwise, if you always think you're not going to be able to do it before you do it, you're never going to get there. You know what I mean? Good luck. Yeah, yeah. no, It's good such luck. a mindset thing. It's totally, totally. Yeah, and and cause if you don't think you can do it and have kind of a plan to do it, nobody ever is whoops. I got a six pack. Whoops. I got, you don't, you don't accidentally, fall into it. you take I the steps that are necessary and you take the steps that are in alignment with the person who does do those things, which means yeah. investing in the help that you need getting yeah. the people in your corner that are going to help you get there. And that's where I think a lot of people get stuck in their own kind of head around their, they're scared to take those leaps, but they're not, they're not making decisions in accordance with the person they want to become. Cause if you yeah. make decisions in accordance with the way that you are right now, you're going to get the same results you're currently getting, you know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Dude. No, for sure. I love yeah. It. It, just, just with the, it, it was kind of to a comical to degree. Cause I, I definitely had a bit of reservation of, I think I can do this, but can I do this on my own yeah. without the team? And so I used a pricing sheet that you had. And when I was on the phone call with them, I wasn't expecting them to go straight for the 12 months, but I've worked with them in the past. They know I do a good job. They know they can trust me. And so they were, yeah, we're thinking about doing the pro. And I had to pull it up real quick. I didn't even remember exactly what it said. What oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the pro. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 48. And, uh, that's great. <laughs> I was like, yeah, maybe I could squeeze you guys in. Like, yeah. It's whatever. <laughs> but, uh. Uh, and it's been going really, really well too. So I love it, dude. And I guess yeah. it, if you hadn't maybe taken action, joined the program, right? It's you could have tried to keep doing things on your own, but I guess why, why even take action and join the program after getting that deal? Why not just try to keep doing it on your own? I guess. Oh man. Cause I, I don't, I don't, I still don't know how to get leads. You know, that was a reactivation. So that's the only reason that one even fell into my lap. So, you know, from a direct kind of tangible perspective, just, you know, getting leads and understanding more the sales process technically. And, uh, those are kind of the two main things, but I also just think you guys could really help me scale and get more organized because yeah. at the end of the day, I'm a videographer, 
you know, that half the reason I became a videographer is because I couldn't do my damn homework. You know, this is what I'm good at. And, you know, yeah, I kind of suffer from the creative curse a little bit sometimes. Yeah. uh, Yeah. So that's huge. And, and, And actually, I forgot, I guess I should clarify they they were looking to do the pro they were interested but there it is a lot of money up front and it was kind of a situation to where i'd be working with one surgeon that i already worked with a lot and mm-hmm. he was bringing me in with another surgeon who i hadn't worked with so they were kind of it, it was hard to get the the confidence for the four month so they actually started with a three month mm-hmm. at 18k yep and they were can we have the option to before that's up, just give you the difference of the 30K and switch to the 12 months. So that's actually what I did. To nice. So you started with the 18 and then you upsold them to a 30, which was a total of $48,000 on the deal. Yes, nice. exactly. Exactly. I love it. Yeah. And only after the first month there, we love it. We're super excited to do it. And they pulled the trigger. I love it, dude. And I know you're, we're only a month in at this point. So there's still a lot we're going to be going through. I just to do these kind of student check-ins to show the power of reactivations are super, it's super powerful. And now we're taking you through the rest where it's cool. You close this deal. Now we need to learn how to get more leads, help you yep. get more leads consistently, and then drive those sales from there. Um, yep. And last question, dude, before I let you go and let you get back to closing more deals here. But I guess if anyone's on the fence and maybe, you know, they're on the fence about booking a call with us and just speaking with our team, I guess, what advice would you give them knowing what you know now? Oh man. I mean, do the calls absolutely at least talk to you guys just you know the the sky's the limit really my goal for this year would be to make 300k which would be you know almost 3x of what i've made any other year and i feel it's super you know possible how many how many 48k deals do you need dude if you round yeah. up 50 you need five that's five, six that's, of them, that's it. yeah that's six right you need six clients in a year that's you think nothing. you could do that yeah that's like, nothing that's nothing Right. And, and that's just with retainers. So that's not even counting any sort of one-off things you're doing mixed in with that. I think 300 K is just the beginning. I really do. Cause 'cause last year on my own, I was able to pull off. I think I made 125 total Mm -hmm. that I can totally do, you know, 300 five. I mean, I'd say 300 to 300 to 400. And then we start as we build that team around that 500, 600, 700, because the team at that point is going to keep you bottlenecked from getting to that next thing. So you need to start buying other people's time, which we'll work with you on. And that's what we're going to start working on after we get the the lead gen dialed in, the sales dialed in, the team building. And then it's just moving from one bottleneck to the next and just going up from there, you know? Awesome. I love it. Well, Reed, I, I appreciate wait. your time, man, and appreciate your thoughts. And I can't wait to keep helping you scale up from here. Awesome. Excited, man.